So I went through this once, and uh, I forgot to record it, so we're going to do it again. So now that the test is designed, I'm going to click on the test and start. So I'm going to say begin. And then after uh, starting the test, I'll make sure that I start answering the question using the insert and edit code sample. Just copy the question and everything that you have that is important for you and, and you want to have it uh, and you want to have it on hand. Copy everything and then click on insert edit code sample. Select C++. That's very important to select C++. If you select HTML and stuff, it's not going to be uh, properly uh, syntax highlighted. Then paste whatever the question was in there and then start coding. Follow the instructions exactly. If it tells you that all the header files are already assumed that is included, do not do extra stuff. You don't have time for those things. But if it's asking you to do so, do it and put comments behind every single thing you do so I know what your answers are and they are answered to which part of the question. So again, I mentioned that before, I mentioned it now. If you make my life easy, I'm going to make your life easy. So make sure if I have over here questions like one, do this, two, do that, three, do that. So say in here I have, uh, I, I only have one question, but let's say uh, one is destructor, two is copy constructor, and three is assignment operator. Then when you're answering the question, you're going to write over here one. So I know you're actually answering the first question, which is the destructor. Then you'll write over your destructor. And then you implement the destructor that is name. And then you're going to delete. the data. Don't worry too much about spelling mistakes if it's not horrible. Minor spelling mistakes, I, I do not care and you get your full mark. Next thing you're going to do is, for example, let's say this is the second part of the question. I'll put two over here and I'm going to write copy constructor. But again, if I didn't ask you, don't do extra stuff because that's your time. Don't lose it. Answer and tell exactly what I asked you to do so. Another thing that I have to mention over here um, that I did not mention in a previous re non-recording thing. It's important for you to know. I have one rule and one rule all that is very important. If the answer to your question is not answering the question I asked, you get zero in the, quest in the, in the thing in the whole thing. If you write over here, void display, and write a perfect display for me. If you write over here, O stream, and start implementing the display for me. Anything that is not relative to what I asked for, I'm not going to even give you any partial mark. Simply, I'm going to put a comment over there, irrelevant answer, zero. You know what that irrelevant answer is? You copying something from somewhere, dropping it in here, just in case to see if you get a mark or two. That's a waste of my time. If the answer is not exactly what I asked for, no partial marks. If the answer you are giving is what I ask for, every single character will gain you a mark. Remember that, okay? I do not give any partial marks to random answers. Remember that, okay? I'm going to actually send you all the stuff via announcement. But anyways, copy constructor, so it's name, const, name reference, n. And as I mentioned, copy constructors are very easy to write. First, make sure everything is null. Then you call operator assignment and you pass n to it and that's how you do your copy constructor. And then in here I'm going to have copy assignment which returns a, uh, a reference of name 
and receives a constant reference of name and returns this. Even writing this will get you lots of mark. Okay? So try to be complete even when you're doing something partially. If you're 100% sure this is supposed to return this, just do that if you forgot how to do operator equal. This is good. Okay? You get lots of mark like this. Now self-checking. If this is not equal to address of n, then I'm going to delete the current data. Then I'm going to delete the current data. After deleting the current data, I'm going to measure what the size of the data is and allocate that much memory. strlen of n dot m data. Again, remember that <clears throat> I mentioned in the text of the question that everything is already included. You don't need to do anything. I just need to see your code. And then SDR copy into m data the n dot m data. And we are all set and done. And as soon as you save, if I can find my mouse, there you go. So as soon as I save over here, you will see that the answer is there. If you have something to change, don't the uh, stop sign that you see over there is wrong. Double click on the area that you have done. It opens it up for you again. Okay? So remember, if, it, if you want to re-edit what you have done, just double click on it and it opens it. When you're satisfied with your answer, save and submit. And you click on OK. In this case, you're going to see the result immediately. You're not going to see this when the test is real because I'm going to show you the results two weeks later. And <clears throat> that's that. Uh, and that's how the test is going to be done. Any questions? Suggestions? Objections? All right.